Good afternoon, my name is Jim Conlon and welcome to latest episode of our entertainment show. As you know, in part three of our entertainment show each week, we premiere a new movie or TV series that is debuting here in Ireland and the UK, and especially here in Ireland where Irish eyes are smiling. And up for discussion this week is a blockbuster uh, type movie in terms of Assault on Precinct uh, 19 uh, meets Jaws. Uh, meets uh, dare I say, Assault on Precinct 13, uh, meets Jaws, uh, meets uh, The Flood in terms of a, a mesh of three movies uh, combined together in this blockbusting horror action. But this time it's not sharks, it's not Sharknado, it's not Jaws, it's Alligators are the feature. It's called The Flood, it's out on July the 14th. It features an all-star cast, including Casper Van Dan, Ra Randy Wayne, Ryan Francis, Randall J. Bacon, Kim DeLonghi, uh, Michael, Mike Ferguson, and playing the lead role as Sheriff Joe Newman, our special guest is this evening, the one and only talented Australian actress and Australian soap star, uh, Nikki Whelan. Uh, Nikki, mm -hmm. delighted to have you on the airways uh, with us uh, this evening to talk about The Flood. And uh, first of all, I spoke to a dear pal of yours uh, who was also on The Flood last week, and uh, he was com commenting about how exciting uh, he found it to have an epic fight scene, was these words, with the great <laughs> Nikki Whelan. Uh, Mike <laughs> Ferguson, I do believe, uh, a colleague of yours it, it, he said it was one of his lifelong dreams come true to fight Nicky Whelan on a, a feature <laughs> movie and uh, was the feeling sort of mutual Nicky? Well I'm glad it was in a movie because Mike is a big man and he would have kicked my ass but um, in the beauty of making movies um, my people my size can beat Mike <laughs> um, it was a so giant <laughs> He is a beautiful soul. We had, this is a really special movie. We were all in Thailand shooting just so far, you know, just all so far away from home in such a different environment. And we really bonded as a group. And, you know, you've sort of seen the cast of this movie. It's hysterical, all of us. And Mike is just a badass. And he uh, was so fun to do this fight scene with. It's always a little unrealistic when you're someone my size or a woman fighting a man of this massiveness. But... Um, our director and the stunt team, we figured some stuff out. Mike was just down for anything. <laughs> it's just, so we had a blast. I think at one stage, I don't know, I have to like flick the, I have like a bunch of keys or something on my hand that I go to give him an uppercut and I nearly clocked him right in the head. <laughs> He's laughing about it. We had a ball. Um, he was a really good sport. I actually want to work with Mike again. He's great. He's a He's a good man. Uh, Nikki, in the intro there, I actually forgot a, a feature movie that I was going to mention in terms of the meshes. I mentioned Assault on Precinct 13 uh, meets uh, Assault on Precinct uh, 13 meets Jaws. But the other movie I wanted to throw in there was Con Air. So there's almost a, a niche of all these sort of three movies, elements of them combined in terms of the flood, where you have the sort of fugitives and the boss sort of thing breaking down. We have Jaws with the alligator. Then we have the prison uh, station where you're situated, the assault in Precinct 13. So there's elements of all three I found when watching this sort of trailer. It just sort of struck me in terms of uh, a cliche, a sort of a, a combined sort of, not one movie, but to throw sort of three teams into one. Yeah, it really does have that element of those movies, 100%. I mean, you got these guys that rock up. It's obviously there's a huge storm happening and they need to come by uh, on their way, on their journey and stop in for the night at uh, my place um, because the floods are so bad and it just happens to be that alligators get out <laughs> and get through everywhere, including our building. It was a cool script when I read it. And these guys, they cast like all oh, the guys, the villains in this are just so badass. All those men are so much fun. They all have really big, strong personalities. Um, and like I said, this was a challenging movie. You know, we were in Thailand. We were shooting in a factory that they had bought in these enormous trucks and filled them up with water. So as the movie goes on, the water rises and... <laughs> It was so gross. i got to be honest with you, night shoots in boiling, stinking heat in this filthy factories with water just slowly coming up, bring your full costume, holding fake guns. It was just, it was a lot. 
Yeah. And Nikki, what was that sort of like? Because uh, Mike mentioned this and I spoke to Kim as well, Kim DeLonga, and she mentioned oh, you that. I love Kim. Yeah. Uh, spoke to Kim as well. And she mentioned there about uh, 9 p.m. shoots of the night, coming in to start work at 9 p.m. in the night in Thailand because it was too hot on the day to do, to you and to do any sort of work. What is that sort of like working at 9 p.m. in the night, working till around 3 to 4 in the morning and so calling it a wrap in in terms wow. of... Yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of night shoots over my time acting, a lot of them, and I don't, I don't love them because I like to sleep. <laughs> I'm not a night person. I like to sleep eight to ten hours a night, easy. So it's very weird. It's like when you're younger and you're coming out of a nightclub at like six in the morning, the sun's yeah. up, and you're like, Bleh. that disgusting, you know, that horrible feeling. <laughs> That's what it's like. And we weren't rapping at three or four. We were rapping when the sun was coming up. I mean, I got flu yeah. I was like sludging out of this building the sun's up um we're covered in mud it's boiling hot and we've got saturated like our clothes and they're like that really thick I'm a sheriff so I've got that real thick fabric on those clothes just sludging out as this it's rough as hell I'm so such a princess I was not comfortable at all. <laughs> so I don't know we would sort of wrap up the, the mornings and I would go back to the hotel and jump in the pool kind of shake it off get three or four hours more sleep. water <laughs> yeah well just to sort of get that cleanliness yeah. at least some clean water and then I'd kind of sleep three or four hours and I was like I'm in Thailand so I'd, you know jump on the scooter and burn around trying to have as much fun before we got to be back at set again so it was kind of exhausting but it was I, I mean I've been to Thailand a lot a few times before but this was uh yeah it was a lot of fun but it just just challenging the night shoots kicked my ass for sure <laughs> and Nikki, in terms of the water, it absolutely drenched you from head to toe in terms of uh, the the sort of gallons of sort of water that was sort of produced. But what's that sort of like being basically up to your neck in water and you have to imagine basically that there is crocodiles or alligators there? Because obviously there was no sort of props in terms of uh, sort of rubber sort of things that you could sort of could imagine in terms of that. They were sort of uh, in terms of green screened in terms of these alligators, crocodiles. What's it trying to imagine that there's an element in the water? Do you have to sort of make that sort of mental sort of image or and obviously being so sort of wet and sort of super can from the actual water to bring that sort of fear element into it as well? Is it quite challenging? Yeah, it, it actually is. I mean, you've got to have a good imagination, but trying to, it's it's about keeping the intensity up, which is kind of hard when you've got three or four people and there's, say, an alligator coming at you and we've all got to be reacting to it the exact same way, you know, where it's moving and stuff. And this movie had so many moving parts to it. We start at the bottom of the uh of the building and we make our way up because the water's rising so we're in all we literally were going up the building um but then we would cross over to this other building that was filled with water then come back to the actual sheriff's department it, the shooting was tricky it, it wasn't easy we had to crawl through these crawl spaces and have an alligator chasing us but it's just about keeping the sense the heightened um, anxiety going the whole time more than anything because there's nothing there and you're all sort of standing around and then you sort of like action and everyone's like running. But then we all sort of stop and go, do we keep going? <laughs> like It's kind of this weird, it is. It's, and there's like, we're shooting at them sometimes. And um, it just takes a little while to get used to. I think it's just about keeping the sort of suspense going as much as possible and your energy up um, to so that reads on camera to think there's an alligator coming at you. I mean, you really think about it. I would shit myself if there was an alligator coming at me. I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I wouldn't be standing there with, as my character does with a gun. I'd be you know, it. coming from Australia, you know all the different types of uh, killer animals. Uh, that's for sure in terms of the snakes out there, <laughs> anyway, and some of the deadliest in the world. Um, Nikki, in terms of uh, getting. Uh, taking on the role uh, in terms of Sheriff uh, Joe Newman in The the Flood. Uh, when it was offered to you, uh, when the sort of came your way, did you have to think twice about it in terms of going to Thailand? And uh, were, the others, were there other sort of offers on the table or when your talent agent, when your manager shows you the sort of script in terms of this role, do you think, yeah, that's for me. Let's hop onto the plane. Let's go to Thailand and Bangkok and let's do this. 
Yeah, you know, I I was working a lot. I had a lot of movies back to back um, at the start of last year. It slotted perfectly in between two films that I was shooting. And I love Thailand. I hadn't been to Bangkok. I spent time in Thailand. I love tropical weather. I love those places. I grew up in Australia. So they're our, the equivalent to America's Hawaii. They're Australia's yeah. Hawaii. You know, they're our holiday destinations when we're kids growing up. And I love it. Like it's so the Thailand Bangkok bit's the easy part for me. Like, hell yeah, let's get on a plane. It's an adventure for me. And yeah, to play a cop, a badass cop who like fights all these dudes and sort of action packed. And I knew it would be challenging. I was thinking, how are we going to do this water? I knew that was the uncomfortable part about it. But as for the character and the it's just a fun movie. Like it's a fun, scary, cool, badass movie. So no brainer these movies are really fun to be a part of and a, a chance to sort of I don't know still kick ass <laughs> and Nikki uh, when you took on the project was Casper Van Dam uh, already cast in the role as well or did he come after you and was that a nice surprise for you um I am the biggest Starship Troopers fan and Casper and his wife Jen they are the greatest people they became my family when I got out there they are wonderful people and I am a huge fan of Casper so I think him and I were being cast around the same time um I know the producer Damon had worked with Casper before and was raving about him and I was like hell yeah it's like Starship Troopers yeah yeah <laughs> you know, classic movie like himself that. and Denise Richards in it and uh Can you remember Jake that Houston? movie it was so cool and he was yeah. so awesome so when we got out there you know and Louis Mandalor who was also an Australian actors in the movie him and I had these parallel lives for like 20 30 years with the same friends back in Australia instantly because I we'd known each other and I'd met his brother before it was quite, I mean, it's a bizarre group of people, but we connected super tight and all and really took care of each other. So, uh, you know, these are really, these guys are really great actors. They're really cool and they're tough and, you know, it's just, they fit their characters perfectly. Yeah. And in terms of all action, in terms of all adrenaline, because when it kicks off uh, in terms of the flood, it really kicks off in, in a big way in terms of, uh, what we see, there, it's sort of exhilarating, sort of a rush. And to keep that sort of intensity up in terms of the sort of shoot, uh, was there a good bit of uh, in-between sort of takes? Was a good bit of laugh, a good bit of jokes uh, in terms of having that sort of lighthearted humour? Because when you were on it, you were really, really on it in terms of what was expected of you in terms of that, that sort of sh shoot of a movie. Because when it picks up, it really accelerates in terms of pace, the movie. Oh yeah, it's um, it, it is intense, and it's it was really difficult for to make this movie. I, I don't think people understand filling up a concrete building in the middle of nowhere in Bangkok with water trucks, and you have to flush the building out first. This huge, enormous building, filling them up with water, and also making them stop at certain levels so we can shoot certain scenes where the water's only here, then the water's here, then it's here, and and the sandbags and the crew and everybody had to work their asses off to make this work. And even the scene where the guys are getting off the bus, do you remember that, where they're getting yeah. off, they're coming into the sheriff's department? That's all fake rain. <laughs> it's really funny. They were dumping bucket loads of rain and they're like, Nikki, keep your eyes open. I'm like, <laughs> choking. I was like, I can't look sexy doing this. Like I literally could not open. It was pelting down fake rain on me and I'm like <laughs> choking up. I mean... We laughed so many times. I have the funniest behind the scenes videos of this movie. Um, also the scene where I fight. Send them bear. on to me, send them on to me. <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm fighting, remember I fight Bear, the other really, really good yeah. guy? I mean, even in rehearsals with that, that's a very, very difficult uh, scene because he's three times the size of me and he actually picks me up and slams me on a desk. And there's very technical parts to this whole sort of um, fight scene that we have now remember the stunt team uh from thailand so we don't speak thai so we're the translation oh my goodness i mean it was it, we had some moments where i just had to stop we were just crying laughing i mean no one could understand anyone what's going on and we had to have translators <laughs> we were like it was amazing we got this thing made truly in under two weeks yeah 
Nikki, uh, before we came on air, we mentioned uh, about uh, some other projects uh, that you have in the pipeline at the moment that might be coming our way later on in the year. Uh, maybe for a minute or two, you might enlighten all our viewers and the listeners what's in store on our TV screens, on our movie screens for in terms of Nikki Whelan for the remainder of 2023. I um, I filmed a, a movie at the start of this year. It should be out. It's like a thriller to maybe toward the end of this year. I also have a uh, cool movie I shot in Hawaii, um, an alien movie. I don't know. I only went in and did a little bit on this movie, so I'm interested to see when that comes out too. Uh, that'll be really cool. It was kind of a whole experience as well. I also um, work at a rescue facility here in Los Angeles, um, a sanctuary for rescue animals, and a television production company in Australia called um, Bondi Vet contacted me and asked if I would like to do a few episodes of their show covering the animals that we rescue at this facility. So I've That's actually fantastic. gone back to TV hosting, which I haven't done for 20 years. Um, so they came over with a crew and we shot a bunch of great stories with the animals. And what else? Uh, and another TV series. I, I popped my head into a comedy for a couple episodes. So I've got some bits and pieces scattered coming out over the next 12 months. So I'm very grateful always. You're very grateful uh, in terms of that. So uh, it's busy times for Nikki Whelan since uh, after COVID and uh, the writer's strike obviously uh, going on. It's uh, You're still kept uh, busy as well, Nikki. And um, Nikki, in terms of the flood, if someone said to describe the, the movie in terms of maybe one or two lines, how would you sort of uh, describe it in terms of what goes on in terms of a mo movie viewer that might want to go to the cinema on July the 14th that's interested in going watching the flood? How would Nikki Whelan, uh, obviously playing the lead role, summarise the movie? Um, I kind of like the way you sort of said it is a mixture of you know, Con Air, and it's kind of like this, it's a scary, like, sort of movie. Obviously, there's a bunch of alligators afterwards, but we've also got a bunch of criminals also going head-to-head -head with me. They take over the, without giving too much away. Yeah. So it's kind of a scary, action-packed film, and you really don't know who's going to get taken out, who makes it to the end, and you kind of grow love for a lot of these characters, even the bad ones, <laughs> because they're just so lovable and crazy. So it's just a great fun flick to uh, check out. It actually comes out at the end of this week, yeah. So it'll be in theatres here in the US and on demand and overall social media places, so check it out for sure. And uh, if I can call you by uh, Miss Whelan, a, a famous sort of uh, Irish name, uh, dare I say, uh, Miss Whelan, Australian accent, but with Irish sort of heritage. And uh, Nikki, uh, time is ticking. We we want you over here on our shores in the near future, uh, visiting Ireland and maybe sometime getting involved in an Irish uh, production or something. Would that sort of appeal to Nikki Whelan to take in the green, green grass of Ireland and maybe do something about Vikings or Normans or <sighs> something about uh, Irish history or... Uh, the, the Easter Rising or something about uh, Irish past with the British. Uh, but that sort of interest uh, Nikki Whelan to delve back the years and get to know her Irish uh, roots a bit more? I would absolutely love this. I, I really, my dad was, uh, has his side of the family come from Ireland and that's why I've got the Whelan and I'm just so proud of it. I, I just, it's so badass. I would love to come to Ireland and make a movie. You guys are the best. Yeah. And uh, Nikki Whelan, for the final 30 seconds now, I'm going to turn it over to you. You might lighten all our viewers, all our listeners, why they should go to their cinema screens en masse on July the 14th, whether to go by train, plane, automobile, tractor, whatever mode of the transport they go, arrive to their cinema screens, put the feet up put the head back on the recliner, uh, get a bit of a massage, have the popcorn, have the Pepsi, uh, turn it put on the flood and uh, Nikki, what's in store for them? I just think you guys all need to head out. Yes, however, you, the way you get there, I'm not sure. Do you know how it comes out in Ireland? I'm not sure how it comes out, like as in, is it at the, it's not coming out in the movies there, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I think it is, it is. Uh, coming yeah, I think it is. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, well, head on out and see it or stay at home and pay for it on TV and definitely check it out. It's uh, it's summer here. You know, it's just a good vibe. It's something to do on the weekend. Um, Just check it out. It's, it's an action-packed, very fun movie. You'll love all the characters in it and, you know, interesting to see what happens in the end. It's uh, it's, it's a great, I love the ending of this movie. 
Yeah. On that note, Sheriff Joe Newman herself, the one and only Nikki uh, Whelan, thanks for joining us uh, on the airwaves uh, today to talk about the flood out on uh, July the 14th. Uh, no doubt, Nikki, a busy time for you, one of so many successes coming our way in 2023, starring Nikki Whelan. Uh, I'm going to hold you to coming into Ireland in the near future and we'll catch up with you sometime again. But Nikki, for the moment, stay safe, take care, God bless. Thank you. Love you too.